A very warm welcome to the OECD's virtual pavilion, where we bring together our contribution to ambitious and effective global action on climate change. We are on a rise against the clock to set out robust pathways to net zero carbon emissions by 2050 and to enhance resilience. Recent momentum in terms of increased political ambition on climate from countries all around the world is really encouraging. However, if we are to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement, ambition and commitments are not enough. We need to translate those commitments into real actions and real outcomes. To start with, we urgently need to align our recovery plans with net zero pathways. We need to enhance ad adaptation efforts and reorient financial flows to invest in that transition. Our latest analysis of the OECD Green Recovery Database found that about 10% of recovery spending had in fact a mixed or even a negative impact on the environment. Developing countries also need access to the resources to implement ambitious climate action and to adapt to climate change. Since 2015, the OECD has been assessing progress towards the $100 billion US commitment of climate finance provided and mobilized by developed countries for developing countries. Latest OECD data shows that the level achieved in 2019 was $79.6 billion US, which was up just 2% from the previous year and still more than $20 billion below the target for 2020. At COP26, we are calling on developed countries to fulfill the $100 billion US commitment as soon as possible and to maintain that annual level to 2025. Since the release of our latest analysis in mid-September, we have been heartened to see a range of further commitments from donors, as well as a delivery plan for their own action. The OECD will continue to track donor commitments on a close basis. The OECD is also playing its part by ramping up efforts to help secure globally coordinated, ambitious, effective and measurable action on climate change. Our new International Programme for Action on Climate complements the work of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change and helps participating countries by providing targeted policy advice. At COP26, we will present the program's preliminary dashboard of climate-related indicators, which we recently launched at our Ministerial Council meeting. We will also launch the progress report of our Climate Action Monitor, which provides a digest of countries' progress towards climate objectives, building on the dashboard and supported by a policy framework. The OECD will also present its new analyses on reducing and managing losses and damages from climate change to inform the ongoing negotiations on loss and damage under the UNFCCC, a key priority of the UK Presidency. Finally, we have put forward a proposal to help facilitate an ambitious but internationally more coherent, globally better coordinated approach to the pricing of emissions. The aim is to help manage and ensure the net zero transition in a way that is both effective and fair. Effective in that efforts in individual jurisdictions actually help to reduce global emissions and don't just shift them to other parts of the world and fair in that every country carries an appropriate, proportionate and verifiable share of the burden. Those are just some of the highlights of our work featured on the virtual pavilion. I invite you to engage with us during our live events and discover the breadth of data, tools and guidance for making that happen. Let's make ambitious and effective global action on climate change our number one priority.